Hello and welcome to this Android Studio and Kotlin tutorial. Today we're going to be building an app which allows us to schedule local notifications. So we're going to have a date and a time picker which allows the user to schedule some notifications at any point in the future. Uh, there are two types of notifications, local notifications and push notifications. Local notifications are from within the device and that's what we're going to be looking at today. And remote notifications are something that requires a server to sort of push down uh, the notification. And we're going to be defining a notification channel which is basically just a grouping of notifications and yeah, let's get started. Cool, so creating a new Android Studio project, empty activity, we're going to call this one local notifications tutorial, programming language Kotlin, and we're going to head into the main activity XML first, hit split, uh, change the parent layout to a linear layout, set the orientation to vertical, we're going to remove this text view and then we're going to go into the design view and just drag in a text input layout, that's just to save us a little bit of typing. And then so our text input layout, we're going to change the height to wrap content, padding, horizontal 20 dp and margin top 20 dp as well. We're going to give it a style of our outline box dense, change the hint to be title. So this is going to be the title of our notification. We're going to give it an ID of our title edit text and that was looking pretty good. So we're going to copy and paste down the whole text input layout and we're just going to change the ID to our message edit text as well as changing the hint to message. And then below that we're going to add in a linear layout and we're going to put in a date and time picker so match parent for the width and the height is going to be wrap content margin top 20 dp and then we're going to insert a date picker with a width of 0 dp and a weight of 1. We're going to give our date picker mode spinner as well as our calendar view shown is equal to false. Our layout gravity is center we're going to give it a scale of 0.7 so just make it a little bit smaller and then we're going to say margin horizontal uh, minus 30 dp. And then we're going to copy and paste down that date picker, just changing it now to a time picker. We can remove this calendar view as well as changing the mode to time picker mode. Now we're going to give that an ID, so calling this one time picker, and then the same thing for our date picker, just giving it an ID. And then below that, we're going to add in a button, give it width and height of wrap content. The ID is going to be a submit button, margin top 20 dp, gravity center, and the text we're going to say schedule notification. Cool, so that's all of our layout finished. So let's head into the build gradle and enable view bindings. So just typing build features. Our view binding is true and then we're going to sync our project close off our build gradle and then we're going to create a new kotlin class we're just going to call this notification and our notification class is going to implement broadcast receiver so we're going to implement the members of our broadcast receiver class just changing the on receive to be context and our intent we're going to call it intent and then we're going to declare a couple of constant values so the first one is going to be our notification id so each notification needs an id so we're just going to call this one our channel is going to be channel one we're also going to declare a title extra as well as a message extra which we're going to pass through our intent in Inside our on receive, we're going to say notification of type notification is equal to notification combat builder. The constructor takes a context, our channel ID, so our string of our channel, and then we're going to set our notification small icon. You can really give it any image you like here, but I'm just going to choose the launcher foreground. We're going to set the title to be whatever we're going to pass through our intent. So we're just going to say intent get string extra, giving it our title extra, and also our message extra. We're going to do the same thing. So basically, we're going to pass by an intent, the title and message out of our edit text, which we'll do that a little bit later on. And then we're just going to call build. And I regret naming our class notification because I think that's interfering with this notification. Cool. So below this, we're going to declare another variable calling it manager, which is equal to context get system service. Our context is our notification service as notification manager. And then our manager, we're going to notify giving it our notification ID as well as our notification object. So now that we've defined our broadcast receiver class, we need to define it in our Android manifest as well. We want to ask for permission to schedule an alarm. So we're just going to say use this permission. Android name is Android permission schedule exact alarm. And inside our application receiver, giving it the name of our notification class and enabled is true. Cool. So we're ready to head into our main activity Kotlin file now. And we're just going to start by declaring our view binding. So just a private late init variable, calling it binding, which is of our type activity main binding. We're going to say binding is equal to activity main binding inflate, giving it layout inflator, and then just setting our content view. Below that, we're going to do two things. We're going to create a notification channel first. And then below that, we're going to say submit button has an on click listener, which when we click on the button, we're going to schedule a notification. So we're just going to create a function for both of those things. Starting with our create a notification channel, we're just going to declare a variable calling it name. So we're just calling this our notif channel. So you'd really want to call this like the category of whatever type of notification it is. And then we're going to give it a description. The importance, we're going to give it standard or default, but you can see there's a bunch of different importances you could give it. And then we're going to say channel is equal to notification channel takes a channel ID which we've defined in our notification class our name and our importance and then we're just going to set our channel description to our description and then we're going to say notification manager is equal to get system service 
notification service as notification manager. And our notification manager, we're gonna say create notification channel and just giving it our channel. We have a channel to post the notification on. We are going to implement our schedule notification function. So we're just gonna say an intent which receives application context and is of our notification class type. So our broadcast receiver notification. We're gonna declare a variable title which is gonna get the text out of our edit text as well as the same thing for our message. We're gonna get the text out of our message edit text. And then we're gonna say intent put extra, just giving it our title extra and then our title and the same thing for our message. And then we're gonna say value value of our pending intent is equal to pending intent. We're gonna get broadcast. And you can see the constructor for this requires context. Our request code is gonna be our notification ID. We're gonna give it our intent as well as the flags. We're gonna give it pending intent flag immutable or pending intent flag update current. Below this, we're gonna declare a variable calling it alarm manager, which is equal to get system service. And our context is our alarm service. This is going to be as an alarm manager. And then our time, we're gonna create a function, which is gonna get the time out of our date picker as well as our time picker. So that's gonna re return our long. And so to get our time, we're just gonna say minute is equal to our time picker minute. And then our hour is equal to our time picker hour. Our day is equal to our date picker day of month. And our month is equal to our date picker month. And the same thing for our year. And then now that we've got our hour, minute, day, and year, we're gonna say calendar is equal to calendar get instance. And then our calendar, we're gonna set the time, hour, minute, second, day, etc. And then we can return the value of our calendar time in milliseconds. So now that we have the time we wanna set our notification, we're gonna say alarm manager set exact and allow while idle. So this means it can wake up if the app is closed, it's gonna wake it up. And then we're gonna say alarm manager RTC wake up, giving it our time as well as our pending intent. Finally, we're just gonna create one more function, which is show alert, letting the user know that they've scheduled a notification. So we're just gonna pass through our time, our title and our message. We're just gonna say date is equal to date of our time. Our date format, we're just gonna get the date format. Uh, it doesn't really matter which date format you use. We're also just gonna get a time format. And now we're just gonna build an alert dialog, just giving the context of this uh, title of notification scheduled. Uh, the message we're gonna to set to be our title as well as our message as well as the time that the notification was scheduled at. So just calling our date format a format date as well as our time format a format time. And then we're just gonna say set positive button and then we're just gonna have no action here. So just calling it okay. And then we're gonna show our alert. Cool, so let's build and run this. And I can see that the date and time picker aren't exactly quite right. Just need to change this layout margin horizontal to margin left as well as margin right. Do the same thing for our time picker as well. So just copy and pasting that down. Cool, let's build and run this again. And we're just gonna say test title and message me is the message. It seems we've got an error, so I'm just gonna click through. So we put in text instead of tag. Cool, and one last time, uh, notification, that message is gonna be message me and schedule that for 5.45. And if we wait a little while, you can see it's popped up there and you've got your notification. So let's schedule a notification for the future and we're gonna close the app completely. And we're just gonna wait for that notification to show up. And so there you have it. That's how you schedule lo local notifications using Android Studio and Kotlin. Uh, define a channel and then post notifications to it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.